Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is uh, Bennett Tchaikovsky, and this is my presentation. This is managerial accounting. We're going to be looking at an example today of single plant wide overhead. My disclaimer and copyright notice the opinions in this presentation are those of myself and not my employers, including but not limited to the South Orange County Community College District and Irvine Valley College. The contents of this presentation do not constitute any legal or accounting advice whatsoever and is for educational purposes only. This presentation is copyright 2023 by Bennett Tchaikovsky. All rights are reserved. Any distribution without my prior written consent is strictly prohibited. Okay, let's go to the Google Sheets. So here's the, uh, basically here's the single plant-wide uh, overhead question that we have. And I'm going to do this for both single plant-wide and I'm also going to do this same question for in a separate video for activity based costing. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how this question is set up. So we have over here YYZ produces two models of electric bicycles, 30 kph and 50 kph. The 30 kph model sells for 3000 while the 50 kph sells for $4500 per unit. The 50 kph is more customized is a more customized bike and requires additional attention during production. The direct materials and direct labor costs for each of the bicycles is as follows. Direct materials per unit for 30 kph and for 50 kph. Total direct material and direct labor 1500 and then over here excuse me for uh, 30 kph the total direct materials and direct labor is 1500 per unit. For the 50 kph, it's 3,000 per unit. Here we are given information about the different departments and the different overhead costs, basically for the basically for the bikes. And over here, it then tells us to be using a single plant wide rate based on parts used in production, determine the factory overhead allocation per unit as well as the gross profit per unit for the KP, 30 KPM and 50 KPM, sorry, KPH, excuse me. By completing the chart below. Okay, let's go through over here. And let's go through and start this video up. So I'll we'll start answering the question. The call to question here is going to be asking us, what is the gross profit per unit? So the two values we're going to need to figure out are going to be right over here, which is going to be the factory overhead per unit. And then we are going to need to go through and figure out what is the gross profit per unit using single plant wide overhead. But in this question, we're already given some of the values. For example, the 30 kph model sells for 3000, the 50 kph sells for 4500. So my sales price per unit for the 30 kph is going to be uh, 3000. And then over here for the 50 kph per unit, very important, I'm not talking about the total amount of sales, we're talking about this on a per unit basis. We have direct materials and direct labor. This is given to us per unit. This is going to be 1500. And over here, this is going to be 3000 for the 50 kph. Okay. So again, these are per unit values. We're being asked to go through and complete, basically determine the factory overhead allocation and then gross profit. The way we're gonna take gross profit, we're gonna take our sales price, less the total costs, and this is gonna give us our gross profit per unit. Okay, now when it comes to overhead, in this case over here under single plant wide, our total factory overhead is comprised of right over here, 200,000 for setups, 1.4 million for forming, testing, assembly, and then we've got purchase orders, factory space. Total amount of the overhead is 3,250,000. 
by the way, in terms of is this thing realistic or not, I just made stuff up. So please forgive me. Uh, this is not a real type of life like situation. Rather, this is really kind of to go through and explain the concepts. So right over here, I have to take this 3,250,000 of overhead and I have to split this amongst our two products, right? So right over here, the use of drivers by product. So what we have to figure out is how, how we're going to go through and allocate this overhead to the 30 kph and the 50 kph sorry okay so it says using a single plant wide what we're going to do is we're going to take our total overhead right with single plant wide we're not going to be looking at the breakdown right we're just going to look at our total overhead which is given to us here at 3,250,000. I'm going to divide this by the driver that it's giving us to go through and do. And it says using a single plant-wide rate based on parts used in production, determine the factory overhead allocation per unit. So over here, we need to go to assembly the total number of parts is 1,000. So again, single plant wide based on parts used in production. Here we use 900 for the 30 and we used 100 for the 50. So over here, my total parts is 1,000. So the overhead rate per part is going to be 3,250. Now, this is not the value we are looking for. Okay, we're not going to put this down here because this is not what we need to figure out. We have to allocate the overhead to 30 kph and 50 kph based on the single plant-wide rate. So what we need to figure out is, well, how many parts did each of these use? Well, the total driver here is a thousand parts, which is what we divided this here by. And it's also telling us too that over here, 900 were used for the 30 kph, while 100 were used for the 50 kph. So what I'm going to go through and do is my factory overhead rate per part over here is going to be 3,250. Now, the total overhead allocated is going to be the number of parts, which is my driver, times the factory overhead rate part per part, which is going to be 2925000 Over here, I'm going to go through and do the same thing, and I'm going to get 325000 This is the overhead I've allocated. Now, very important step, right? We want to take a step back right here. When I add up these two amounts right here, after I've done the allocation, we're going to do this for everything. This equals to 3250 You have to make sure you've allocated this properly. So again, right over here, the amount that I'm allocating to 30 kph and 50 kph, we only have two products, is going to be, because we're allocating it based on parts, is going to be 3250 Notice the parts over here have to be equal the number in the denominator, right? Over here, once I do the allocation, I'm now going to have to equal the total amount of my overhead. Real important to remember. When you do these questions, there's a lot of ways to go through and check your work. Again, practice will make perfect. Now, this is the amount of overhead that has been allocated. However, I'm being asked to go through and to do this on a per unit basis. In order to do this on a per unit basis, I have to say, well, how many units were gone through and have been produced? So we have to look over here carefully and let's see if we can find it. Oh, factory space. This is based on units produced. So there was going to be 2,000 units of 30 kph made and 500 units 
based off of 50 kph. So if I need to come up with a per unit amount, what I'm going to do, and let's just kind of remind ourselves, like whenever you see me do these little things on the side, we have our parts. Right, so I'm gonna take the value of the overhead allocated. I'm gonna divide this by the units produced. Okay, my units produced are given to me right over here. I produced 2000 units of 30 kph and I produced 500 units of 50 kph. So to come up with a cost per unit, I'm gonna to have to take the total overhead allocated and divide this by the units produced. So this is going to be 2,925 divided by 2,000. When I come up with this over here, I'm going to get a rate per unit of 1,462.50. Again, always with my class, you're going to want to carry it to two decimal places. Over here for the 50 kph, our total overhead allocated was 325 and our units produced were 500. So over here, the overhead rate per unit is going to be 650. Okay, so this is my using single plant wide. This is my overhead rate per unit, very important, right? Per unit. When you get these questions, this is what I'm gonna be asking you for if you're taking my class. Again, depending on what you're going through and taking, but this is how I would go through and test. So over here, the amount that's being allocated over here to factory overhead for the 30 kph is 1,462.50, while over here, it's gonna be 650. So my total cost basically for the 30 kph unit is gonna be 2,962.50. How did we get that? We basically took the direct materials and direct labor. We basically added in the factory overhead per unit. And this is going to give us our total costs per unit. So our gross profit over here is going to be the sales price minus the total cost or roughly $37.50 per unit. And then over here, it's going to be $850 per unit for the 50 kph. So using a single plant-wide overhead on parts used in production, determine the factory overhead allocation per unit, as well as the gross profit per unit for 30 kph and 50 kph by completing the chart below. You hear me saying this per unit over and over again, but there's a reason why. I've graded enough exams to know that a lot of students, when they come up with a value, their instant their instant reaction is, oh, let's put this overhead right over here to be 2,925,000, and that's not the answer because not, that's the amount of overhead that was allocated, not the overhead value per unit. So as we look at this right over here and just kind of taking a step back for a second, right? So when we look at these numbers here, what do we kind of see? Well, if we're only making thirty-seven fifty per unit, and we're producing say two thousand units, I might have a little bit of a problem here because this is only talking about cost of production. And if I'm only making seventy-five grand off of these items right over here that kind of tells me, well, wait a second, is this 30 KPH, is this a loss leader, or I'm not really making that much of a margin, while over here, I'm making only 500 of these units, and look how much profit it's driving. So again, this is why we have different overhead allocation methods. So that's going to wrap it up for single plant-wide overhead. We're going to come back momentarily and we're going to look at activity-based costing, and we're also going to kind of go through and then do our analysis between these two methods. 
So I want to thank you for joining me here today on this video. I, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave any kind of questions or comments you have in the questions below. I appreciate you subscribing to the channel and, and uh, liking these videos. Have a great rest of your day. Have a good one.